Hi, I'm Nadine Marassi here again at the University of Idaho 18th Annual Engineering Expo. I'm here with the Tenstegra team and their NASA project um, with Kyle and George. So tell me a little bit about your project. Okay, so uh, basically we're building a modular robotic arm. So um, it's not a conventional robotic arm at all. As you can see, it's got a whole bunch of uh, more motors and whatnot that's going on with it. Um, it, it's not, it's based on tensegrity, which basically means everything's in tension or compression. It's not um, like a normal robot, uh, like based on your arm, if you have a weight out here, it's going to put a bending moment on your arm. Uh, but here everything's in tension or compression, so you can, uh, takes a lot less material to make it. Uh, materials can take a lot more in tension or compression than they can in bending. So it's a lot more lightweight and it's got a lot of redundancy in it, built into it. So if you're out on Mars or somewhere out in space and you have a motor fail, um, it's, not a, it's not the end of the mission. You can keep going. So I understand you guys have been working on this project all year. How is that? Um, it's been a busy year for sure. We started off going 100 miles an hour and we haven't slowed down since. Um, and it's a good thing. All right, so what were some of the biggest challenges working on this project? Uh, basically the control system it's not simple we've got 12 motors on it right now and it's not simple like if you want it to move in the X direction you don't just move one motor all 12 of them have to work together and they all have to maintain tension in all the cables at the same time if any of them slack up it kind of falls apart so um, just getting a mathematical model to work and solve and tell us how to move this thing um, that was a major breakthrough when we got it to move. Here you can see it moving around and whatnot. All right, so that was your biggest breakthrough when it finally was able to work. Um, how was it working with different disciplines on this project? Um, it wasn't too big of an issue. Well, it was actually kind of difficult because we don't have that many disciplines. There's seven of us on the team. Five of us are mechanical engineers. We have one bioagricultural engineer and one computer engineer. Um, so it was really lopsided focusing on the mechanical when we really probably could have benefited more from other disciplines. So it was kind of interesting having to uh, work with everyone of basically the same discipline, but it worked out really good. All right, so um, how does, what application does this project have in the real world? Uh, basically anything you would use a conventional robotic arm for. Um, we can stack multiple units of these on top of each other to get more range of motion and more maneuverability. So pretty much anything a normal robotic arm can do, hopefully this thing can do it too. And then um, what made this capstone experience the most valuable for this project? Uh, the team members for sure. We, uh, seven of us, um, we thought it would be kind of hectic, you know, trying to get everyone together and everything, finding a time to meet in it. But it actually worked out really good. We get along extremely well. Uh, we hang out outside of the project, so it's not just, you know, I have to work with these guys. It's a, it's a lot of fun showing up and working on this. All right, so was this project just a project, or do you see yourself in this field, you know, somewhere in the future in your career? Um, I know myself. I signed up for this project um, because it was a robotics project. I'm really interested in robotics. And, of course, the wow factor. This thing's, uh, it's really awesome even just to look at and uh, so it's got that going for it. So um, maybe you can show this to us once again, like a little bit how it works and move around. So now we're moving that direction. So it, what I'm doing here is I, you change on the interface and then I'm executing. So it's not real-time movement, but... All right, well, thank you guys very much. Very cool project. Um, again, I'm Nadine Marassi at the University of Idaho 18th Annual Engineering Expo. Thanks for joining us, and we hope you've enjoyed all these projects.